Shelford's law of tolerance. Now, it is a principle in ecology that explains how the existence, abundance, and distribution of species within within an ecosystem are influenced by their tolerance to various environmental factors. So every species has a range of tolerance for environmental variables such as temperature, moisture, pH, nutrient levels. This range defines the conditions under which a species can survive and thrive. The tolerance range includes three zones. Optimum range, that is the range of environmental conditions where the species grows, reproduces and survives most effectively. This is the ideal set of conditions for the species. Over here, maximum growth and survivorship takes place. Suboptimal range, conditions below the optimum range where growth and survival are reduced, but the species may still persist. Supraoptimal range, conditions above the optimum range where growth and survival are impaired, leading to stress or death. Tolerance characterizes the organism's response to stress and is the organism's ability to grow and survive in suboptimal and supraoptimal conditions. Shelford's law of tolerance, it was formulated by Victor E. Shelford in 1913. So according to this law, there are upper and lower threshold values. So upper threshold values, it is the maximum level of an environmental factor, for example, temperature, moisture, or pH that a species can survive. Beyond this upper limit, conditions become too extreme for the species to survive. Then lower threshold values, the minimum level of an environmental factor that a species can withstand. Below this lower limit, conditions are too harsh for the species to survive. Then the whole range over which the species is able to survive is the range of tolerance. So within the range of tolerance, a species can survive, grow and reproduce effectively. It defines the environmental conditions under which a species is most likely to be found and thrive. So this image illustrates the concept of Shelford law of tolerance. So over here you can see the com key components of the graph. On x axis you can see environmental factor. It represents a gradient of a specific environmental factor. Uh, for example, temperature, pH, light, moisture affecting the species. Then on y axis you will see population size indicates the number of individuals of a species within a given population. Then is the optimum range, the central portion of the graph where the population size is at its peak. That is, it is the maximum. It represents the range of environmental factor where species survives the best, experiencing optimal growth and reproduction conditions. Then comes the zone of stress. Now it is located on either side of the optimum range. Conditions in these zones are suboptimal, resulting in fewer individuals. Species can survive, but they experience stress and reduce reproductive success. Then zone of intolerance. It is found at the extreme end of the environmental gradient. Conditions here are beyond the tolerance limits of the species, leading to no individuals being able to survive. Then range of tolerance, it shows the full spectrum of conditions under which the species can exist even if not all are ideal for surviving. Then where you will find abundance of individuals, the highest population density occurs within the optimum range. Population size decreases as conditions move towards the extremes, that is zones of stress and it reaches zero in the zone of intolerance. So now you can see from this example, in the optimal range, you can see the species are most abundant. The species of butterflies are most abundant in the optimal range. As you move towards the zone of stress, 
the species they become infrequent the species are less frequent and as you move towards the zone of intolerance the species are totally absent you can find no species of butterflies here so the image illustrates how species thrive within a specific range of environmental conditions and how their abundance decreases as the conditions move away from this optimum range eventually leading to their absence in the extreme conditions so this was all about the shelford's law of tolerance